What's up guys, girls, friends, family, Hater Army, welcome back to another epic sneaker review today. I'm super excited because I've got a very special pair of sneakers, the Nike Air Jordan 33. That's right, 33 years since the first Air Jordan was released. 33 comes in the year 2018. This is a super cool shoe, really excited. I haven't seen this pair of shoes in person yet i'm going to do the unboxing with you i'm going to try them on foot so make sure you hit the subscribe button i'm going out tonight so oh god yep they're calling me right now but you guys and girls deserve a review immediately as soon as i get the shoes so i'm going to do a quick review for you now but what i'll do after a couple of days i'll release a more insightful in-depth review um, just, you know, because I know you like the content, so I'll do a longer, more in-depth review of the shoe. So make sure to hit subscribe. Hope you enjoy this video, and let's see how cool these look in person. So here we go. Let's take a look at this for the first time in person. This was from Foot Locker, and their service was a little bit slower than JD Sports or Nike.com. Nike.com usually deliver very, very fast. So here we go. Let's kick that to the side. Right, so, engineered for flight. Let's try and open this with one hand. Right, okay, so I've got some sort of paper with a diagram of the shoe. And I'm, I believe this is because this shoe has a very unique lacing system, a very innovative, modern take on the lace system. So we'll get into that in a second. Wow, I've got some foil kind of paper here. Oh, wow. Wow. These are stunning shoes, aren't they? Before I take these out of the box, just check out the colours. Red, white, black, and we've got gold. Beautiful, absolutely love this. Now, bear in mind, the Jordan sneaker is primarily for performance. These are basketball shoes, so what I'll do is I'll take these on an indoor court during the week and I'll give you a performance review in a separate video. Um, but let's keep this a lifestyle review for this one. Um, based on aesthetics and appearance, honestly, that's the reason I bought this. I think these are a super cool shoe. Very stunning and honestly, I believe it has a lot of appeal to individuals who don't even play basketball, but simply just for the aesthetics. I mean, We've got, you know, four really, really cool colors. It's a white shoe with black in some areas, gold embroidery, and we've got a hint of red. So I really, really like that. Now, this has a unique lacing system, this shoe does. Let's just take this out of the, let's take that out. I'll try these on foot in a second. What does that say? AJ33 designed and engineered to the exact specifications for flight. Now, I believe what we do is we release this to fit into the shoe, this lever right here. And to tie the laces, I believe you just pull this. And to get out of the shoe, you pull this string to eject and look if you notice on the side it says eject so this lever is to you have to undo this to slip into the shoe to tie the laces you just pull this lever very fast and efficient method of you know lace laces and it's a modern day method which i believe is super cool and as you can see, it says eject. So to get out of the shoe, you just hit the eject and just slide right out. Now, let's look at the bottom of the shoe. We've got a hint of red and we've got a circle 
with the Jordan logo in the middle. Now if you look closely, um, you can see a mechanism or some kind of interface that almost looks like the insides of a watch. That's indeed the lace system. So when you pull the lace, that, you know, what was almost looks like some kind of mechanism within a watch um, rotates. So, you know, they've purposely put a transparent sort of see-through circular thing so that you can just see the lever in motion once you tighten the laces. Um, that's a very intricate detail on the bottom of the shoe. They've gone above and beyond what people see, you know. People only really see the top of the shoe, but shows how much detail and effort goes into these shoes by placing that on the sole of the shoe. And it's got a gold Jordan logo over that. So, my honest thoughts so far, I believe these are stunning. If I'm honest, I'm based in the UK and I don't see a lot of people wearing Jordans. And that's one of the reasons I like to go for Jordans because I do like to stand out and wear what other people don't. I mean, in the USA, I could imagine it's a lot more common, but um, over here in the UK, Air Maxes are very popular, um, certain Adidas shoes. So, you know, I was happy to opt for the Jordans this time. And, you know, when I saw gold embroidery, a hint of red, I was sold already, to be honest. That's all I need, a bit of gold embroidery and a bit of red. And, yeah, I'm sold. I'll, I'll just go for it. So, what I'll do is try the shoe on foot and... Yeah, I'll show you how it looks. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this shoe. Would you rock a pair of these? Bear in mind, these are not the cheapest of sneakers. These were actually £170. So, yeah. Is it worth the money? I, so far, believe so, yes. But in the second review, after I've worn it for a couple of days and... You know, I get more of an insightful reaction to the shoe. I'll release another review, uh, a bit more in depth. And stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit subscribe. And I may even release a performance review since these are performance-based shoes specifically designed for basketball. So let's try them on foot and I'll show you how they look. So it's quite dark in the kitchen. It's quite late here in the UK um, to get into the shoe undo the red lever as you can notice uh, I wear these really low socks you know to usually sometimes I wear joggers that are a bit shorter and I like to show off the sneaker as much as possible so I like to hide the socks so that's how we fit into the sneaker right tighten this lever and then to tighten the laces it's as simple as pulling this right here and that's tightened the shoe for me immediately. So I'm really happy that they've created such an innovative modern day twist on the lace system. I'm big on efficiency and I think that saves a lot of time to be honest. It's super cool, super unique. So yeah, pull this lever in. And to tighten the laces, there we go, we just pull and it's tight. So that's how the shoes look. These were sold out completely on Nike.com. These um, went out of stock very, very fast. And I was really disappointed. Um, I searched across multiple online retailers and they were all sold out. I checked on Foot Locker online and my size was gone too. And then I checked a day later and then they just miraculously managed to have a pair of 10.5 UK size, which is these. So I just quickly bought them for 170. I was just pleased they had a size close to 10. I'm usually a size 10, but these are 10.5 UK size. Um, 
I believe they fit true to size. These feel a little bit big for me, if I'm honest. Uh, I would have been a bit happier with UK size 10. Um, you know, at the top of the shoe, they are a lot bulkier than I'm used to. I mean, I hope you can see what I mean from here. They're a bulky shoe at the top. I mean, I'm used to wearing Vapor Maxes, so these are a lot thicker in width at the top. Um, from the side of the shoe, aesthetically very pleasing to the eye. And although these are primarily a performance based shoe for basketball, I really feel like Jordan has gone that extra distance and tried to create something a lot more creative and appealing to individuals who wear Jordans just for style and fashion. I mean, I really, really love the gold embroidered Nike Air at the back. That's, that's honestly beautiful. And then if you look at the front, there's a gold embroidered Jordan logo on each tongue of the shoe which is super cool what I want to do is I want to show you the lever at the bottom so when I pull it usually rotates in that mechanism usually rotates so um, Based on its aesthetics, I'd give it probably a 7 out of 10. And the reason is, although the colours and design itself is a 10, I'm unhappy with how thick it is at the top here. That's why it brings it down to a 7. But, you know, in terms of attractiveness from the side and the back and the bottom, it's a 10. It's just the overhead bird's eye view is, it's just too thick from here. So, overall I am happy with this shoe. Um, I'll give it some, a few days before I release another in-depth, insightful sneaker review. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing from you all. And like I explained before, to get out of the shoe, just pull that and it loosens the laces. And we do the same with this. And then you slide right out of the shoe. So when I was trying them on foot, I forgot to mention how comfortable they are. They're very comfortable and I feel like I could get a really good game of basketball in these, so look forward to not only another more in-depth review, but also a performance review for all the athletes and basketball players out there. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Crush your goals, stay focused, stay optimistic, hit the subscribe button, and plenty more amazing sneaker content as well as fashion content and vlogs on this channel. So until next time, peace and love.